This is the UL version of the aerosol box that started in Taiwan. We've made some very uh, important changes. First of all, we've just designed, changed the shape, so we've got a little bit more ergonomics. We've got, uh, we've got really good view into the airway. We, um, the, the side hole, we've add, put a hole for the assistant on the right hand side, and we've got a, a cat flap mechanism that self seals on removing of the hand. This also applies to the head end, which is uh, one large opening as opposed to two small arm openings in the original design. So you've got a, a huge amount of range of movement compared to two single openings. And again, the bands across here mean that it self seals. Uh, another important feature we've added in is, is we've, we have a 22 millimeter cutout port on the side which will take a standard filter, viral filter, and then just using a catheter mount we can connect it to our wall suction so that we can potentially slowly evacuate the aerosol that will be generated during the procedure. During, during use you can see a surgical drape over the tail end just to help contain the aerosol dispersion. Um, we have, as I said, we've got plenty of room for manoeuvring. Uh, we can have our assistant do cricoid pressure. We can even have some instruments come in from the side or through the little gap allotted by the shoulder cutouts. I've got a quite, a, even without a video ringoscope here, I've got a quite a good view of the larynx and I'm well able to intubate quite easily, allowing for the fact that the mannequin is rubber. And then we can place. Uh -huh. and attach our circuit with our HME. Okay. And the circuit can come out the side or through the little gap here. One thing I would say is I would turn off the oxygen flows when you take the mask away from the patient's face so just you're just not causing dispersal of what's in the box any further so that's an important point so when you're not bagging the patient or the circuit is disconnected from the patient make sure that the, the flows are turned off so you're not displacing the aerosol that you've successfully trapped so that's it and as you can see really good seal and these clever clever mechanism for seals coming apart at the end once you're done and this is just a physiotherapy TheraBand and it's envisaged we can just drop this into a bucket of dis bucket of disinfectant or uh, chlorinated solution and we can wipe down the box thoroughly um, as per local guidelines.